So I've prepared a very simple minimalistic bare bones presentation just to guide myself through my uh, experience. Um, so I will mainly be talking about my personal experience, not the intense issues that Luke was talking about, you know. Um, so as you can see, this is from my high school. The giant S stands for Sarah. And uh, someone from my school is actually here, Dr. Megan. All right, so this is a picture of me at an immersion trip. We went to San Francisco to help. Well, y'all, we um, not sure if everyone knows what an immersion trip is, but basically we formed a group of students and we went to a local church and like soup kitchens and uh, food banks to help out basically. And another picture, and then that was me doing something. I don't remember, it's been a while, sorry. Um, okay, so here's a little background by myself. Um, I grew up in Guangzhou, Guangdong province. Um, growing up, I watched a lot of like American movies and American uh, TV shows. So I'm aware that my language skills might not be the, it might be better than most students that come here. And I've, I've always been very adventurous and I'm excited to try um, something new. So the, the story of how I got into Sarah was actually a very, interesting and a short one. Um, it was back in 2013, I believe. No, sorry, 20. Yes, 2013. Right. So it was a Thursday night. Um, I was just talking to my mom. Um, it was just a random idea, a wild, frantic, ludicrous idea. Right. So what if I go to the uh, go to the US for high school? And my mom was like, OK, um, we didn't talk like about anything else. Right. And then Friday, um, she brought me to one of the agencies. Um, we talked for a while, and then they mentioned that the principal of Sarah High School, um, Principal Lund, was actually in the city. So Saturday night, I talked to the principal. Um, we had a very short chat about who I am, who Sarah, uh, what Sarah is, um, and on the spot, he gave me my offer, my admission. So that was a very short story of how I got into a Catholic high school in two days. So now that I got an offer, I, you know, I had to consider this admission, right? So because I'm moving to a brand new country, I'm moving without my parents. So I'll be living with complete strangers um, in a complete, in a completely new country um, with, without knowing anyone, right? So one of the main concerns of my parents is well imagine that you're sending your kid or like Fioretto said earlier we have an only child policy so if you're sending your only kid to a country that's halfway around the globe um you want that school to be you want that school to have a very positive reputation um if you're hanging around with people with questionable life choices um, what happens to a teenager that's very susceptible to influences, right? So the number one thing my parents considered was the reputation and the discipline, like the, the discipline aspect of the high school. And because, you know, Sarah High School is a Catholic high school, um, it has a very good reputation. Um, people around the area saying that it's a good school and then, you know, students are doing very well, right? So that's like that is a check mark for my parents, right? So the number two thing that my parents consider, because this is after all a prep school, right? The reason why we go to high school is because we can go, so, so, th so that we can go to college um, and go to a good college in my case, um, Cornell University. Um, so another thing that we consider is how strong the school is academically and extracurricularly. So because Sarah High School has a very strong academic uh, reputation as well. Um, you know, AP classes, honor classes. Um, I could also go to a local community college to take college classes. Um, and Sarah has a lot of resources, you know, counselors um, and out of like extracurricular programs, like I said earlier, immersion trips, um, retreats, you know. So all those different factors, they create a clear image of what the school is and my parents like what it is and I like what it is. So that's why I, uh, I chose Sarah. And 
things that were helpful to me at Sarah, so one of the most major aspect, one of the most major factor that helped me through my high school was actually my host family. Um, my host family, the Quirks, also uh, an entire family of dedicated Catholics. Um, their kids all go to, well, they have four kids. Two of them were boys. So those two went to Sarah um, because Sarah is an all, all boys school. Um, and they already have the experience of hosting an international student before. Um, so that's why they chose to take me in. Um, and I can't, I can't describe how much the crooks have helped me um, throughout my high school. They have treated me as one of their own. And um, we still talk like to, to this day, um, which is why I, I think the host family is a very, very critical part of the high school experience because I have also heard stories about we have like a couple of sister schools. So uh, one of the sister schools, um, I won't name who, um, recruited a lot, of, a lot of international students and they were falling behind in the, in, in the host family aspect. So the problem they had was they put, I think eight students in a single house with, with the vice principal or something. Um, so obviously that would not be ideal for me, for like the students to transition and to adapt to a brand new environment because you're still just hanging around your like um, international peers and you barely get any attention from the family itself. Um, so host family, like I said, is very important. Um, another thing that was very helpful was the peers at Sarah because everyone because the ide ideology of Sarah is no matter what your background is, no matter what your religious background is, your financial background, or um, just overall background, you're always welcomed and everyone will be respectful. So that is something that I find extremely helpful. Um, everyone was friendly and welcoming, um, you know, as a foreigner, as someone that just literally enrolled in the school that is completely different, I felt very welcomed. And um, so even though I would, I, I did say like my language skills would be better than most, I, I suppose. Um, funny story, I was actually talking to a student earlier because I was, I'm, I'm TAing for a class and the student praised me for how good my Mandarin was because obviously they thought I was born in this country or I came here at a very young age. Um, so most people, I would say most people would have the initial language barrier, but um, that was not the case for me. So I can't speak from personal experience. However, there is still the cultural barrier because no matter how good, no matter how good you are at a language, the cultural aspect cannot be the cultural aspect cannot be learned without actually living at that place. You know, something that you, something that you teach your kids at a very young age, you know, something not major, but like the tiny, tiny things, right? Like chewing without having your mouth open, right? It's considered rude and disrespectful in this country, but that was a different, I'm not saying which one is better and which one is worse, but it's different. Um, so that is something that I found myself, um, that was a situation I found myself in because I had to learn these uh, little tiny things. Again, this is why I think that the host family program is so very helpful because they point out these tiny little things and they help me grow. Um, so I think that is actually pretty much um, all I have to share because my experience it's very hard for me to convey my experience, my entire experience um, to someone else. But if you guys have any questions, I'll be very happy to answer it.